Thank you, Charlotte. So, as a 60s superstar, the lifestyle Silla Black enjoyed was a world away from where she was born and brought up in Liverpool. But her bond with the city was, of course, unbreakable. She was nicknamed Liverpool's Cinderella. Helen Pearson is there this morning. Helen, good morning to you. We understand the Book of Condolence will be opened a little bit later on today so that local people can pay their own tributes. Yes, that's right. The town hall here is going to open its doors to the public so anyone can come along and pay tribute to someone who is certainly a local a legend and certainly the local paper has devoted pages and pages and pages to her. I mean, she grew up just up the road in Scotland Road above a hairdresser's shop, so very humble beginnings, and uh, launched her career just down the road here at the Cavern Club where, of course, she met her beloved husband, Bobby, who made her a real star, I think. But ask anyone on the street here just what made her so successful and they'll say it was her warmth and friendliness. So this is what people had to say about her. We've lost a major star. We haven't just lost somebody. We've lost a major force within the industry. It was like somebody you were living next door to, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. Like, it was like your neighbour. You know, yeah. someone nice yeah. and friendly. The personality was, not it? It's just me exactly on that. She was the most loveliest person going. It's like you couldn't ever really follow, could you, really? Well, of course, tributes have already been pouring in online from fans and friends. My, my favourite is from her very good friend and fellow scouser, Paul O'Grady, who said, I feel totally lost without her, and that is no exaggeration. I've lost a mate to make mischief with. Well, certainly here in Liverpool, she's going to be remembered very much as much a scouser as a superstar. She really is. Helen, thanks so much. And a little bit earlier on, we were talking to Alex and Sue Tatham, weren't we, who met on Blind Date. Yes, the first Blind Date wedding. That's right. And they described her as a fairy godmother mm. to their, their family. And I think fairy godmother, Liverpool's Cinderella... It's very apt, isn't it? Isn't it? It really is. Liz Connolly, she was always cheerful, great to watch and listen to. You couldn't help feeling like you knew her. Mm. She's gone too early. Rest in peace, our Silla. Lovely treatment. In a way, she's there now with Bobby and she's having a glass of champagne mm. and saying good luck to us all.